Brakte hawa, brakte awa shai, brakte hawa, brakte hawa shai. Ko aholai mo hawa alahina o yahawa bahashim, yahawa shai bahashim kagodash. Bless you, yahawa. Bless you in the name of the only begotten Son, yahawa shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit, all praises and glory to our power, yahawa bahashim yahawa shai bahashim kagodash. Which I don't know pale your Hebrew. Blessing the Most High, yahawa, and His only begotten Son, yahawa shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit, all praises and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bashem, Mount Shai, Bashem, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will be in salutation to the election, the first fruits, the choicest parts, that whom the Lord will have mercy upon in his time. So I'm with your Ashim, which are your elect prophets, 12,000 men out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel, equating to 144,000. There's like men who have the truth, all right, the testimony of Yahweh, Bashem, Mount Shai within them. Of course, chosen before the foundation of the earth to bear the burden of preaching. And of course, Sam um, giving a shalom to the rest of the Israelite. So that's out there that part of the Manar number of the one third. So the, the, the children who have the faith in Yah Bashim Al Shai. Of course, Shalom to the Israelite foreigners like unto the speckled bird that look like the heathen nations where they've been scattered to. Alright, but lineage by the way, their father go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom. Shemiah Mafa, and a Mafa from the Great Millstone Plains. He was camp located here in the city of Philadelphia. I'm the Mighty Ma'ite. Alright, come with a lesson a little or we lesson. Well, this lesson is a story here. And I'm going to have it play. In the backdrop, uh, fair use warning, I do not own any of this footage from CVS DFW. Uh, I'm only using this footage for educational purposes only. Fair use warning. And so, I'm just going to play the story. And then bring out some scriptures a little bit of understanding and uh, let's just do it all of this after a North Texas woman is attacked while on a dog sitting job in Coppell Jacqueline Duran's face was nearly erased two days before Christmas and one day before her 22nd birthday <laughs> It happened on a dog-sitting trip gone horrifically wrong in the Dallas, Texas suburb of Coppell. I see her feet right there. First responder body camera video shows the two dogs who attacked her, holding the police at bay. <laughs> leaving Jacqueline agonizing for help. We can't make entry because of the dogs. The dogs in the instant after she opened the door. And these uh, are <clears throat> supposed to be uh, mighty men. Uh, they were even afraid to go in to encounter these dogs, all right, which, um, as you had seen in the clip showing the, the girl, uh, she could be either E or uh, the nation of Edom, um, or uh, could be um, the Israelite foreigner, or even a heathen, I don't know, you know who her father is, but... Um, what it, it appears to be is a judgment has went out by the Lord. Okay, and um, you know, just uh, making a highlight and a point. Um, in these days in which we come in into our end, uh, you're gonna see a lot of these uh, so-called mighty men, um, not be as brave as what they were. Okay. Uh, because of the different things that the Lord is putting in the earth, which is the fear. Okay. Let me see if I can find a scripture. Child, Lord will, man, because... Yeah, I'm not sure. Lord will I find the scripture. Amen. Yeah. 
this winter Bible verse. Where will I find it? Um, I don't know, but it's just a point, um, I might just look around and Nahum, maybe it, it might be there somewhere, um, but, um, if a brother do know the scripture I'm mentioning, men, uh, mighty men and being as women basically that's a scripture I would like or, let me see um I'm not sure if this is the one in Jeremiah, the 51st chapter. But we'll just continue on. Um, Slocky is Slocky again, but, you know, but there's another point I'm trying to make and pardon me uh, for that. So I had to be more studious with these certain precepts, but I'm just going in the spirit. But, um... Let's go back to the article, or the, the actual video. Dogs in the instant after she opened the door were not like the lovely dogs Jacqueline said she had met once before. Sam, can you hear me? Are you the only one inside? Is the big dog right next to you? Lucy, a German she Shepherd mix, even know. and Bender, a Boxer Pit Bull, pinned her down and tore off her nose, ears, lips, and cheeks to the bone. So the dogs dragged you from the front door to the living room. Yes. What? Wow. So there you go. And, um, you know, brutal, brutal, very brutal, very brutal times. Okay. Now... I'm gonna get a couple of different scriptures. The spirit, let me see. Alright, so first scripture will be in the book of uh Sirach chapter forty. First track, uh, I mean, it's like a first uh, verse. It says, uh, Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb till the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imagin th imaginations of things to come in the day of death trouble their thoughts and cause fear of the heart okay and you know a lot of people do uh fear you know uh you know death you know and such and you know the days of death etc all right and you know uh you know all this trouble and stuff you know is, is laid upon man and stuff all right 
Um, and the, this is one of the troubles that can happen. All right. Gonna go to the book of Sirach, where uh, you know judgment can happen to you. All right. Um, so I'm gonna go to the book of Ecclesiastes, either the seventh or eighth chapter, and um, just go from there. And, uh, you know, it says here, um, actually in the eighth verse we'll go to. Or chapter, that is, pardon. It says, uh, I'll, I'll do this verse 8 and 11. Because census against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right? And, you know, a lot of uh, people don't understand that, you know, uh, just because a judgment ain't carried out right there when you do an evil action, um, you know, a lot of people think that they're getting away with it. And then on top of that, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, how come this girl is, uh, you know, maybe, oh, she's a good woman or something like that. But, you know, whoever perished even being uh, said good, you know. You know, the scriptures say roughly paraphrasing. All right. Reading on verse verse 12, it says, Though a sinner do evil in hundred time, and his days are prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. Okay? Going on, it says, There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there, is, there be just men unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happeneth. According to the work of the righteous, I said this also is uh, vanity. And, you know, sentences are done, okay, which are judgments. Let me see. I'm going to look up the word for sentence. You know, you got uh, Pythagum, which means a, a decree or order, all right, which... uh. That's all carried out um, by the Lord. All right, that's all carried out by the Lord, um, which uh, scriptures will tell you that. Okay, the Lord, He creates evil, He creates light, He creates darkness. You know, I, 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 the Lord, does all these things. You know, both the good and the evil, the Lord does execute out, and also. Um, yeah, it's also in, in the book of Ecclesiastes to tell you about how the Lord controls, you know, life and death as well. But, um, uh, let's see if I can get the scripture. Prosperity, life, death are in the hand of the Lord. That's basically the precept in which, uh, I want to get, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach chapter 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come from the Lord. And this is a form of uh, adversity, trouble. Because uh, now this girl, 
you know, she don't have the same face anymore. You know, her as they they mentioned about how her nose and her her uh, ears, you know, mauled off, you know, to the bone. Okay, and this was all sanctioned by the Most High. Okay, uh, let me see if I can uh, get that because I was seeing that. You know, a little bit earlier. Let me see something. Good precept in us. It's the ninth or ninth chapter, but I might just go to that. All right, cause uh, the Lord sanctioned this, and I'm 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 a, I'm a uh, get that and created this event to happen for this particular girl. All right, so what I'll do, like I said, is go to um. Sirach 39 and uh, verse 30 or, or 28 alright Sirach 39 and 28 Sirach 29 Or 39, Sakya. In verse 28, if I'm not mistaken. And then... Also... I could get um there's another preset that I wanted. Oh, probably in Ezekiel. Okay, this is uh Ezekiel. Ezekiel, oh, well, I don't know exactly where it's at. I'm assuming maybe a 14 chapter, but we'll see. <laughs> just did it. My, my spirit is calling out, but we'll see. Um, four, sore. I wish blue letter was better with, <laughs> with certain things. The algo should pick it up easier. Yeah, Ezekiel 14 and 21. Uh, and it says here. It says, uh, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, how much more when I send my four judgments upon Jerusalem, upon the, the Israelites. But as, as you said, the Lord got death and destruction for the heathen as well. All right, for the wicked. It says the sword in famine in noisome beasts in pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. All right. Uh, this is for uh, sword judgments. All right, and that's on our people, but the different judgments. Like I said, I don't know if she's an Israelite or not, but... You know, it could be applied, of course, uh, a, 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 a judgment as this, you know, to her. Because you know, the Lord prophesied, you know, and does so many different things, you know. And his heart is past finding out. Alright, so. Four. 
famine and noisome beasts. All right, you got Chai Chaya or Chai for beasts, which just got Rai evil. That's just for evil, evil beasts. All right, uh, like this animal, uh, 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 evil, um, animal. Yep, that's it, evil animal. Okay, so animal, you know, people be thinking that some animals can't be evil. Yes, they can be evil. They can bring upon bad times. All right, this is. Uh, the book of Sirach chapter, or yeah, 39 verse 28. There be spirits, which there's, of course, spirits within, obviously, animals that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out. Their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And this is a sore stroke from the Lord. Peasing, of course, the Lord's heart. Okay. Upon that uh, young woman. Okay. It says fire and hell and famine and death. The, all these were created for the wicked. Teeth of wild beasts. All right. In which, you know, she had. Receive the teeth of wild beasts. All right. Down to the nose, ears, and lips and cheeks to the bone. Okay. Which, you know, you can see it in the corner. You know, you can check out the video for your own self in full screen if you want. I'm just going to play it like that. What do you remember about where they were attacking you? Uh, my leg, my arm, my face the most. Especially when I felt the skin hanging from my face, I was just, I, I thought I was gonna die. From the time police arrived, 37 minutes passed before first responders felt safe going in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A medic rescued Jacqueline and ran out with her. She was rushed to a trauma center in grave condition. She had lost 30% of the blood in her body. It was a blessing, really, that she was even found alive at all. When the dogs rushed her, the door was left open, and that triggered a security alarm at the home of Justin and Ashley Bishop. Have you had any problems with dogs? Zero. Zero. The bishops told police the dogs came into their home from rescue organizations. I have three kids, you know. Yeah, y'all getting years them old. dogs. You know, no history of violence, none. The dogs that have been But from, the words crazy. Y'all be getting them dogs from them different, uh, you know, random stray dogs or something like that. And, and, and uh, y'all don't know what type of, what they've been around or anything like that. You know, they just switch out on you, you know. But it's all in the spirit of the Lord that's control the spirits, uh, all the spirits on earth. All right, all the beasts, all the animals, all the people, etc. Crazy dogs on a sign about a sleeping baby hanging on their front door is one indicator of negligence. That is according to a lawsuit filed by Chip Brooker, Jacqueline's attorney. The warning on the front door to me, I think, uh, suggests that the bishops knew that both of these dogs had acted aggressively to people arriving at the front door. You're trying to build this case of negligence. What do you have to prove that? Uh, what we have to prove is an examination of, of the dogs that we did after this attack, uh, which we believe shows that the dogs were dangerous and had vicious propensities. The bishops turned down a request by CBS News for an interview, but in a statement they said they were heartbroken about what happened. The police videos show how cautious officers were even when trying to contain the dogs, particularly Bender. Once at the hospital, emergency like, surgery lasted like for seven hours like before Jacqueline's like, parents, John and Shirley Duran, heard from one of the doctors. She had to be resuscitated on the trauma table. Multiple times. Describe for me the moment you first saw her after the attack. I was just glad to see her alive. 
Her whole face was total bandaged. Ooh. They had her in an induced coma mm. for over a week. It must have been somewhat deceiving because the bandages really covered up the worst of it. It did. Exactly. It really did. I just kept telling her that she was a miracle and that she was going to be restored. She will be. When we met Jacqueline seven weeks after she had been in the hospital, doctors had grafted skin from her buttocks and her forehead to start the process of rebuilding her face. I oh, feel gosh. like I didn't ask her this, so I think that it's time to show who I am now, and I can't be scared of it. What are you hoping to get across with this interview? Still I want for dog owners to know their animals and be able to communicate with their sitters how they are. These are the same Should dogs who you knew. met a week earlier that you said were lovely. <laughs> you know, they lovely one out. week and killers the next. H how do you square the two? Honestly, I'm speechless. They don't change their attitude from the time that I eat them to the time that I go there for the first time. Jacqueline was released from the hospital after 60 days. Leaving wow. there was a brave and spirited 22-year-old woman deserving of the applause that she, she got from the doctors and nurses. Right when she got home, first responders gave her a champion's welcome. I really appreciate it. Her dogs were even waiting. And so was her boyfriend. I love you. Jacqueline doesn't want to be seen as a victim, but rather an example. And that may be why she didn't hide the scars that showed the more than 800 bites on her body. Dang, 800 bites. So when I first interviewed you, you could open your mouth about five millimeters. Yes. Now you're up to 21 millimeters. Yes. We've had the benefit of watching what? you heal over the course of a month, and it is notably different, better. Are you seeing that yourself? Yeah, mm -hmm. I am seeing that. And what does that do just for your own spirits? I think it, it really lifts me up compared to where I was. Yeah. Because I just felt so helpless in the hospital. Hey. And being at home, I knew I was going to heal more here than I could at the hospital. Therapy is a full-time yes. job now. Her mouth is stretched one millimeter at a time so that she can eat more. Countless surgeries are to come. When you hear one to three more years of surgeries, is that daunting Suffer, for you? Man. It's not fun to think about, but I also she's think about how amazing the doctors are. Yeah, and so optimistic. I'm putting it in their hands to help me. Come on! <laughs> you should know that there's a lot of hope in Jacqueline Dang. and her family. In fact, in looking to the future, guess what? There is a place in her heart still to love dogs. She'd been dog sitting for seven years and still dreams of working with animals. And that's all I need to hear. All right. Um, you know, the Lord due to spirit brought another preset to me. Um, it says it's a fearful. Living God. Let me see if I can get this preset. This kid is upstairs going crazy. Um, this is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and 31. All right, but before I bring that out, I'm going to bring this out, and then this will be it. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 1, or verse 2. And it says, All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean and to the unclean. To him that sacrificeth, and to him that sacrificeth not, as is the good, so is the sinner. And he that sweareth, as he that feareth an oath. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men. The, all right, the minds of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in their heart while they live and after that they go to the dead all right that's right man you know so very heavy heavy words from the lord you know 
I'll let you know that uh, men, women, everything is in the hand of the power. And this is the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. All right, because you don't know exactly what the Lord can do to you if you're on, obviously, the wrong side. All right, on the or if you're on the left-hand side of the Lord, you know, his judgment. You know, where he brings out, execute. You know, teeth of wild beasts to tear you apart, like just sitting there bleeding. And, you know, as it appears, it seems as if if it wasn't for alarm going off and then that alerting, you know, officials are coming out. She just would have get probably tore up, you know, continue to get mauled. You know, it's another video I seen um, brother had put in the chat of a girl in that like looked like appeared to be an elevator just getting mauled by like a like a pit or something like that. And she don't even look like she even tried to put up a fight at all. You know, at least, you know, um, you know, due to spirit, I believe if, I, if a dog attack me, I'm a, I'm a put, I'm a put up some type of fight. But hey, you know, the woman, you know, obviously being the weaker vessel, you know, probably in complete shock. And then you never know what the Lord do. You know, the Lord making nightmares come true. So. You know, just beware out here, you know, especially in the time of the Passat right now, because that's what time we in right now. Right. Uh, currently still, um, you know, in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, that is. All right. And um, you, know, you don't want that death angel to come, you know, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, and bring down judgment to you. So as we know, all judgment is committed to, you know, the sun, you know, so that, you know, you see the lesson is to take it as a, a great warning. And uh, giving a shalom to the elect. Call all you my y'all by Shemesh Abishin Kakadash Shalom.